Welcome to week five of Spooky Scary Sunday. If you don't know who I am, then let me introduce myself. I'm Dartle, and for the past five weeks, I've been putting the samurai community on my back and carrying this Spooky Scary Sunday series. If that sounds like something that you like, then be sure to subscribe. Bro, shut the f If that don't sound like something you like, then let me give you my version of bacon pancakes called Spooky Scary Sunday. Scary Sunday, Spooky Scary Sunday. Take some spooky then you add a scary Sunday. Scary Sunday, spooky scary Sunday, spooky scary Sunday. Locked in isn't even a word, bro. Like, we're strapped. We're bucked. This series is so fun to make, bro. I love the feedback from y'all. Trust me, I see and I feel that y'all are rocking with the kid. And I'm rocking with y'all too. This is a good community right here. I want to start doing Spooky Scary Sundays with the community itself. So be sure to join my Discord, bro. The link is below in the description. Just join my Discord, bro, so we can make that happen. With that being said, welcome to week five of Spooky Scary Sunday. Spooky Scary Sunday, for those that are new, is a series where every Sunday the samurai come together and we have a blast. We watch scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter, blah, blah, blah. If you click this video, then you get the gist. So get your snacks, get this, get that. It don't matter to me. And let's get this show on the road. <laughs> For our first video, we have the Nurse Annabelle Creation Contest winner by Julian Terry. This video was sent in by none other, the GOAT Elizabeth, who had to say, Hope you are having a comforting day. My brother and I always look forward to your videos. Stay awesome. Hope you're watching this video, Elizabeth. You the GOAT. You the GOAT. I could dead ass make a Spooky Scary Sunday Elizabeth edition, bro. Every time I click this thread, she's flooding it with videos. Loyal. Where we at with it? Where we at? Yo, what um, what type of problems do you need where you gotta go like, uh, what's dude off uh, Mortal Kombat? I forgot his name, where you gotta go Kung Lee. I think that's his name, I don't know. You gotta cover your eyes like that. She got the daredevil treatment, bro. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. What, can she see without, with the rags on or something? She got that shit on. Oh, nah, bro. What type of cup is that? What is that made of? Oh, nah. See, you can see through them rags. I can feel it, bro. Get on up out of there. Look at her. She laid right down, bro. Tried to play it off. Girl, take it off. Wait. Pause. No, that sounds crazy, bro. In game, of course. Hi, Emily. Did you press your call button? Is my mom here yet? No, not yet. Good news, though. I think you're ready to take the bandages off. Oh, yeah, I hear the dual effect on the voice. It's rough. Jump scare incoming, bro. I know this all too well. That's why I chose the short one. Good looking, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, couldn't get me this time, bro. Couldn't get me this time. I'm not being jump scared no more, bro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thug. I'm a thug. I'm a thug. <laughs> For our second video, we have Vicious by Alter. This video was sent in by Amir, who had to say, I hope you are having a wonderful day. P.S. Can I have a Nutrigrain bar? I mean, you can, but it just won't be for me, bro. Vicious. Katie, bro. R.I.P. Katie. That was a fire. That was a fire video. I like that. <laughs> Our third video we have I Heard It Too by Matt Sears. This video was sent in by Shaleen Chelsea, who had to say, This video got me leaning. P.S. Maha Kitakori. Don't know what that means, probably in Japanese, but I don't speak Japanese, bro. I'm African American. Hey, happy Black History Month, by the way. I haven't got one comment or one compliment yet since February hit. I'm not appreciating that, bro. Racist confirmed, all of you. Hey. Let me talk to y'all real quick on some spooky, scary Sunday-ish. Hey, hey, don't stop the beat. 
you already know spooky scary sunday we about to go check out my flow she laying down her kid on a pillow i don't walk down the crib and stub my big toe lots and lots my bedtime song aren't you getting too big for me to sing you to sleep no Okay. Big head ass. No. Nope. Hush, little Ugly. baby, don't say a word. Hey. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Hey. And if that mockingbird won't sing, hey. Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. Hey. And if that diamond ring turns brass, hey. Papa's gonna buy you a looking glass. Hey. And if that looking glass gets What's broken, this? Papa's gonna buy you a billy goat. Hey, back to it. Goat won't pull, hey, Papa's gonna buy you a cart and a bull. Hey, and if that cotton bull fall down, hey, still be the sweetest little baby in town. Bro, bars, bro. Put on double uh, freshman yes. XXL. Yes. What'd she say? Okay. What'd she say? And I'm sure he misses us. She just got time. serious. Now, go to sleep. I love you. I love you too. I love you too. Big head ass. Ugh. What am I mad for, bro? Chill out. It's a kid. My nose itch. That's never a good sign, bro. That means something wicked about to happen. Bethany. Bethany. Oh, yeah. GG's. Mommy. GG's in the chat. GG's in the chat, bro. Bethany about to get caught by them skinwalkers. Stop talking over the video, Dardo, bro. Jesus. Make it entertaining for the people. What am I saying? Oh my god. I'd be disappointed in myself. For free? Bro, chill. Oh my god. I'm wild, bro. I'm wild. Come on, honey. Yeah, R.I.P. Bethany, bro. She ain't even get to start life for real. I'm downstairs. So gullible, bro. What just ran up on her like that? I heard it what too. she got? Oh, they both heard that shit? Oh, now it's Operation Lockdown, bro. Board the windows, Call of Duty Zombies. Tight beat. But it's okay, they'll be gone soon. Mommy, I'm scared. I know. It's okay. It's them skinwalkers. Ain't no beating a skinwalker, bro. My head is, bro. That means something bad about to happen. Oh my god. I'm nervous. Please, not now. Bethany? Where are you? I'm waiting. That's a bold skinwalker, bro. No. It's okay. We'll wait. They'll go soon. Bethany, are you hiding from me? W skinwalker. Do not make that skinwalker me. None but business. Money. Using her voice, Shh. knowing she awake, bro. Say anything. Back up off me. Super close up to the camera like that. Go fight that hoe. Here I come. My God. Is my Wait, dukes about to square up with it? One on one? Quick. Tight beat? Say less. I'm all about that action. Oh, she using weaponry, bro. Bethany about to see her mom get put on her damn neck by this damn skinwalker. GG's. 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 Uh, just that form in itself, I know she ain't catching nobody, bro. She ain't catching nobody. No teardrops, no action. You ain't about it. You ain't about it. Got baited. You ain't about it. Look at the form, bro. I, th I feel like she gonna do more damage to herself than she actually do to the to the skinwalker with that form and scissors.
Wait, is Bethany, Bethany! gone? Oh, say Bethany! goodbye, bro. She done snagged your baby. Bethany, where are you? GG's, bro. Oh Wait. God, Bethany, you okay? Why would Bethany change locations? That's the skinwalker, bro. Me, I saw her. Mm-mm. Oh. For free, bro? The toes is crazy. I messes with that. The hell? Bro, we had a whole nother scenery, bro. No, no, we not. No, we not. We back at it. Regular schedule programming. Mama gone. R.P. Bethany, bro. R.P. Bethany, bro. Bethany out. Mommy? Mommy? Stupid, bro. Stupid. Bro, when I have kids, I'm going to raise my kids to know Bethany. not to do this type of shit, bro. Bethany. J just get out of there. Your room. <laughs> yeah, GG's. Bethany's super gullible, bro. Oh no, never mind. She ain't going for that. She ain't going for that. RP seal though. Remember, honey. Just count to five. Yeah, it's over with. Two. What a dumbass. Three. Four. Five. What's she about to do, bro? Oh. Looks so ugly. Long face ass, bro. Damn, bro. GG's Bethany, bro. For our last video, we have My Scary Experience in Philippines by Wansi Entertainment. This video was sent in by Hyro, who had to say, Hi, Corey. I'm a big fan of yours from Philippines. I always watch your videos, especially Spooky Scary Sunday. They get me spooky and also happy watching your videos. I'm always waiting for you to post new spooky scary Sundays. Hey, Hyro, you ain't gotta worry about that, bro. I'm taking care of that. I'm not the I'm not I'm not a stepdad. I am the dad that stepped up. This story is unforgettable. Bars. I can remember it like it happened that, a week bro, ago. Hero, although it happened Never almost mind. a year ago. Me and my family went on a vacay in the city of Pampanga, which is all on Gapo. Okay. We stayed there for almost a week. We it was a very time, long bro. road. Like this. This new style to be me. honest, it made me so tired I just wanted to sleep during the journey. As time went by, it got longer and longer Pause. to the point I was Pause. impatient. Pause. I almost got to sleep when I suddenly saw three unknown figures with no faces just standing in the corner of the road as if they were waiting for us. Crack All I could bro. see was their tattered clothes with some blood stains on them. Oh, no. I told my parents to stop for a moment to ask them if they had seen those figures. They said no. So I thought that this was just my head playing tricks on me. So I ignored them and got back to sleep to reserve it for I later. Got a burp, bro. As we arrived at uh, our rest house in Alangapa City, I saw those three figures again. Are they following me? I managed bro? to spot the patterns of the clothes of one that I saw earlier. But this time, I saw their faces. Is he mad? Their facial expressions could be seen because of the sunlight. As I made a keen observation of them, I would describe that they had a serious aura. Okay. I thought they were people who just guard the road in case a random guy tries to barge in without a ticket. But no, they were the three guys I saw from earlier on the road. So right. how did uh, they manage we, to know where we were going to stop? But to this day, I find it stupid that I just ignored it. Anyway, I mean, we were enjoying the whole three days it? there. That'd be dumb, bro. We were swimming at the jump. beach, enjoying the sunset want. view, and playing with some random people there. There wasn't much to do that day, so I was busy doing some chores in our rest house. Oh, our nah. rest house is a beje kubo made out of bamboo wood and nipa, which money, serves money, as the bro. roof of the rest house. That's money, money, and the bro. length of it is four meters. It? It While cleaning be. it, I saw some claw marks on the roof ceiling outside. I questioned how this could be. Because how could somebody reach that high up when they would need a ladder to climb up there? How can you even see? I still oh, ignored that slanted. red flag. During the night, me and my family were about to sleep. When suddenly we heard a pack of guys screaming at the top of their lungs. Oh, so nah. loud, it almost Watch made me go deaf. Be that serious, bro? Then it stopped for like, a I'm, while. I'm thinking it might for be maybe around walkers. 10 minutes. Watch it just be like... 
I heard it again, but this was time it wasn't loud anymore. They were screaming as if they were whispering right next to my bed, which is, is on the second floor. Bro, now, what? I stood up what in shock doing? hearing that sound. Come on, bro. It wasn't only me who heard that. It was oh, also shit. my aunt, my mom, and God. my niece. We were all stupefied by it. So we ran outside to look for those guys. We searched all around the house and found nothing. He ain't doing nothing. nothing, bro. Look at his face. We asked our neighbors if they had heard something hey, or somebody black screaming. History, my brother. But wish, they answered no. Tell me that. What we did is to call the police and tell them what happened. They asked us if we'd managed to see it. And we said, no, we haven't. But we managed to tell them about the screaming. And all of the police there were shocked. One cop came near thing? us and told us the scariest thing that one can ever hear. He said this. You see, those guys you heard screaming aren't people at all. Mm. They are tick tick. Mm. They search for prey and eat them. Mm. You can tell whether they're near or far away from your house when you can hear their yelling voice. Oh, nah. If it's loud, they're far away from the house. But if they yell in a low voice, they are in your house. Oh, nah. Sometimes before doing it, they'll leave a claw mark in someone's house as nah, they're marking for their targets. Well, I mean, we were all completely shocked and at the uh, same time are, became are nervous. Lining up, bro. Now everything up, bro, made sense. From the screams to the claw marks I saw earlier, the cops saw the nervousness and worries on our faces. So they escorted us to our rest house and told us to pack up our things and go back to Manila to avoid these encounters. That's crazy. We had already packed up our things in the morning. And as we were about to pop in for the ride, my heart suddenly started beating faster. Did you and see a him chilling again? cold sweat ran down my spine. Because he's seen him again. I saw those three guys again. Damn. I like that one now um, they have happy that faces. Thing off of, uh, Batman. I never looked back the one, at their the new faces Arkham, Arkham once Knight, I hopped I in to ride. To this day, I never knew how they managed to hunt us down where we were staying. Did anything happen? The only thing I know is that we were still alive. We didn't tell our friends Bruh, or acquaintances happen, about it. I hope That's that I bullshit. never see this those three guys again. No, that was bull, bro. This whole story was just bull. Nothing even happened, bro. Another successful spooky, scary Sunday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, bro. We doing the same thing next week. With all that out of the way, see y'all during the next upload.